is that one of the, the most mature performance from your side this year? Oh, without doubt. Um, most complete performance today. Went for 80 minutes. We had a, you know, obviously they're a good footy team, so we, we, they had their moments and you know, they got off to a good start, but we just hung in there and stayed in the process, so I was really pleased the way we uh, just stuck to our guns and stuck to our plan. Where did you see the turning point? Because 6-0, they're hammering at the line for a good five minutes there, and you managed to come out of it. Yeah, it was probably the back end of that first half. So it was probably the 20-minute period that we just stayed in the arm wrestle. We just completed our sets and kicked long and you know, backed our chase. Um, so that was probably the, the turning point, and I just obviously... You know, just confidence, you know, Zach kicking the two-point field, um, field goal and um, we just defended well in systems. You know, they, they're, they're dangerous when they're on the your try line, but I thought we turned them away. Our edges were good, uh, stayed in systems. So, um, yeah, and overall, our best 80-minute performance. What, what do you make of Zach? Obviously, you've got the top line every, every week when we come in here, but, you know, the field goal, the, sm- the game awareness to do that, and then also the try into the first half, which kind of killed him off. Yeah, he's in good form, without a doubt. Um, we all knew he was a good player, and um, he's you know playing well in our footy team. He's um, doing a good job, a good job. Do you reckon you stick with him there next week, or? Oh, oh, I haven't even thought about it to be honest. Yeah, you know, we'll worry about that. Next, you know, Monday, just in, enjoy tonight. Does he deserve to be in the Origin discussion, player? Um, well, Ben thinks he does. Um, being a Queenslander, um, <laughs> but. Um, Without, I think he needs to be discussed. You know, let's be fair to Inkham about it. You know, um, he's form winger, form centre. That this, he's just in form. So you know, um, in Origin, you need to have players like that. And he comes um, comes up with big plays at big moments. You know, and I think um, you know in Origin that's what you need. Um, so he's, I think he's got the temperament too as well to play in Origin. Um, so it'd be you know a good winger or a good centre to keep him out. Yeah, he was. Yeah, um, uh, obviously I hadn't knew when I was at Cronulla, um, so I know what sort of player he is, and um, you know his agent told me that you know he wanted to come home. Um, so you know we probably were thinking about getting him before he went to the UK, at, you know, back in November, um, but it just didn't work out that way. And then obviously he's come back now at this time, and you know he's a really big pick up for us because. Uh, he's a competitor. Um, he takes the pressure off Jacob that we don't have to burn him out like we were, I thought. You know, Jacob's a really good player and playing in good form at the moment, but uh, you know, big minutes, defending in the middle, it takes its tear on uh, a hooker. So he, you know, he needs to be fast and sharp, so Neil will give him that opportunity. Just on that two-point field goal from Zach, like, I don't know what, what eight to ten I think he did, but the margin. But what does it do psychologically for a guy that's on the six line to get a field goal right before half time like that? Yeah, it's just a big lift. Really is. Um, to be honest, I can't remember who, who even said it. Someone on the field said, "Let's set up a field goal," <laughs> and then I called. God knew I didn't have the legs for it, so I called Zach in pretty much straight away. And um, yeah, credit to him, he hit it really well, and it just gives you that bit of a lift, you know, going into half time. That um, yeah, you get that two points, and it's yeah, you're feeling pretty good. Especially because he missed two fil- two goals. Yeah, he made up for his. He, he goal missed two team. goals, so um, <laughs> he needed to make up for it. What about your defensive line, line, especially that try that I think you stopped Harris scoring for the second half? I know Coach probably wrapped about that, yeah. but that's probably the most important or pleasing part of the performance tonight. Yeah, very pleasing. Um, yeah, I think it was Jack DeBellin in that instance. It was, it was a massive effort from him, and obviously the goalpost helped out a bit. But you know, the defence for the whole night, you know, they're a very good attacking side. Uh, Wade Egan and Sean Johnson can you know, tear some shreds off you if you let them. And um, you know, I thought we, we handled them pretty well tonight. It looks different to us on the outside watching the game, but been this club for a while now, so it's starting to feel different, you feel like the momentum building? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, you know, I think last week was a step in the right direction, even though we didn't play a complete game, I thought it was good, but I think tonight was you know another big step in the right direction. We've got a long way to go, but you know, there's definitely the right feel there. Super was strong for you, Yeah, he was, uh, you know, that's his strength, carrying the football. Um, you know, that we knew they were going to kick to that corner, and um, Christian did a real good job underneath the high ball, and um, he carries the ball strong, you know, that's definitely one of his strengths. And, you know, Ben was talking about it before in the sheds, you know, he, um, it's just good seeing him carrying the ball and poking his nose through the other side of the line and getting some quick play of the balls, you know, and that's, you know, that's his strength. So it was good to see him out there, him and you make their debut and for the club. And Zach plays his 100th game and has a game like he did, so pleasing night all round.
Thank you.